Bob's in key. It's showtime. From the Sony Picture Studios, this is Jeopardy. Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trevet. Thank you, Johnny, and welcome, everyone, to another exciting game of Jeopardy. Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. This is game number 140 of my run of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. My total is $6,848,000. Seeing red at the movies. Red in quotation marks. Wills. Artists. And last but not least, humor. All right, let's get things underway, player one. You do the math for 200. The number of items in a dozen times the number of months in a year. Player one. What is 144? 12 times 12. Precisely. Pick again. You do the math 400. The number of legs on a spider plus the number of legs on a fly. Player one. What is 14? Definitely. You do the math 600. The number of sides on an octagon minus the number of sides on a hexagon. Player one. What is four? No. Oh. So Anyone at all? Here's what we were looking Two, for. Two, eight minus six. You do the math 800. The number of days in a week times the number of ancient wonders of the world. Player one. What is 49? Hey, you're correct. You do the math 1,000. The number of events in a decathlon divided by the number of years in a decade. Player one. What is one? Got four out of five in that one. Exactly. The Dr. Noguchi file, 200. Famed medical examiner Dr. Noguchi was a model for this Jack Klugman TV character. Player two? Who was Quincy? Hmm. Yes. The Dr. Noguchi file for 400. <clears throat> Dr. Noguchi autopsied this actress whose death in August 1962 is still the subject of debate. Player two? Who was Marilyn Monroe? Exactly. Hmm. The Dr. Noguchi file for 600. Criticized for flamboyance, in 1982, Noguchi issued a terse statement on the death of the Saturday Night Live comedian. Player two? Who was John Belushi? Huh. He's the one we were looking for, yes. The Dr. Noguchi file for 800. The appropriate one-word title of Coroner Dr. Noguchi's 1983 bestseller. Player three. What is coroner? Oh, sounds like a stupid answer, clue. Pick again. Give me seeing red at the movies for 200. This 1949 movie about a boy and his horse featured a script by Steinbeck based on his own novel. Player one. What is the red pony? Hey, you're correct. Seeing Red 400. Small town teens fight off a commie invasion of the U.S. in this 1984 flick. Player one. What is Red Dawn? Precisely. Pick again. Red 600. Maura Shearer made her movie debut in this film about a ballerina caught between two men. Player one. What is the red shoes? Hey, you're correct. Red 800. An innocent Tom Hanks is targeted by the CIA in this comedy. Player one. What is the man with one red shoe? Precisely. Pick again. Red 1000. Brigitte Nielsen was the title character in this 1985 sword and sorcery saga. Player one. What is Red Sonia? Hey, you're correct. Uh, Dr. Noguchi file 1000. Dr. Noguchi concluded that in 1981, this star of Rebel Without a Cause 
lost her life less than 200 yards from shore. Player three. Who is Natalie Wood? Exactly. Mm. Let's try artists for 200. It's been estimated that this Spanish cubist created more than 100,000 works during his 91 years. Player one. Who is Picasso? Definitely. Artist 400. He included sketches of Dutch rural scenes in a letter to his brother Theo, not his ear. Player one. Who is Van Gogh? Precisely. Pick again. Artist 600. In the 1920s and 1930s, this painter collaborated with director Louis Bonuel to make two surrealist films. Player three. Who was Salvador Dali? Hmm. That's who we were looking for. I'll try humor for 200. Only a grown man should attempt this lowest form of wit. Player one. What is a pun? Exactly. Humor 400. The name of this comic imitation that lacks the moral aspect of satire also means a strip show. Player one. What is burlesque? Yes. Humor 600. It's defined as a tumble in which one lands on the buttocks. Player one. What is a pratfall? Precisely. Pick again. Humor 8. Stout Shakespearean character, not only witty in myself, but the cause that wit is in other men. Player one. Who is John Falstaff? Hey, you're correct. Humor oh. a thousand. Canine terms. No daily for double a here. Long, drawn out, complicated, over-involved, and even purposely irritating story. Player one. What is a shaggy dog story? Precisely. Pick again. Wells, 200. Gusher usually refers to a flowing or spouting well of this substance. Player one. What is water? No. Oh, sorry. oil. Nobody? Player three. What is oil? Yes. Wells for 400. A hilltop well in Kilmersden, England, is the supposed site of this nursery rhyme pair's downfall. Player one. Who are Jack and Jill? Precisely. Pick again. Well, 600. No one has unearthed the treasure Jim Bowie is said to have hidden in a well at this fort. Player two. What is the Alamo? Oh. Definitely. Wells for 800. Answer? Oh. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? 1100. Despite the name, these pieces used to drill wells aren't little. They can be two and a half feet long. Player two? What are bits? And that's what I would have said if I found the Daily Precisely. Double. Precisely. Pick again. Wells. Program. Jesus chatted with a Samaritan woman at a well named for this biblical patriarch. Player oh, two? Who was Jacob? Yes. That wasn't my guess. Let's try artists for 800. He completed his last great painting, Bar at the Folies Bergere, in 1882, a year before his death. Player two? Who was Edward Menet? Exactly. Hmm. Last Here one? To wrap up this board. He painted the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. Player one. Who is Da Vinci? Exactly. Still do myself a lot of good despite not finding the Daily Double. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. Big lead. 9,600 for me, 4,700 for player 2, 2,600 for player 3. Get to start things off in double jeopardy.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. Women in history. Name that country. Bottoms up. Notice bottom in quotation marks. St. Peter. Piano keys. And our last category. What foods these morsels be? We'll see. Piano keys for 400. Heard here, it's the only letter in piano that corresponds to a piano key. Okay, here is the clue. Player oh, two. what is A? You took my answer. Yes. Piano keys for 800. Of the two types of piano keys in a Paul McCartney, Stevie Wonder hit, it's what G flat the note heard here is. Okay, here is the clue. Player three. What is ebony? Huh. Precisely. Pick again. Piano keys for 1,200. A six-string guitar has two strings tuned to this note each corresponding to the piano key heard here. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What is middle C? Nice try, No, nope. that is incorrect. What we were looking oh, for... Oh, E, that this. was my second guess. Let's go for what foods these morsels be for 400. Put a feather in your cap if you know that fichetti is a type of this hollow Italian pasta. Player one. What is fettuccine? Good answer, but no. Sorry. That's wrong. Nobody? Here's what we were looking oh, for. Oh, macaroni, yeah. Let's I just realized try it. Bottoms up for 400. This type of boat lets you view undersea life while keeping your feet dry. Player one. What is what is glass bottom? Hey, you're correct. Bottoms up 800. It's your net profit or loss as shown on an income statement. Player two, what is the bottom line? Exactly. Huh. Let's do women in history for 400. Argentina cried for her when this former actress and first lady died of cancer in 1952. Player three. Who is Eva Perón? Oh, yeah. Hey, you're correct. Women in history for 800. Some sources say she died in 1812, but a woman who died in 1884 claimed to be this Indian guide. Player one. Who is Sacagawea? Exactly. Bottoms up 1200. This 60s TV series was set aboard the Sea View, an atomic sub built by Harriman Nelson. Player three. What is Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea? Hmm. Yes. I like Name That Country for 400. It's a leading tin producer. Fish fights are all the rage. It's the country formerly known as Siam. Player one. What is Persia? Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. Player two. What is Thailand? Exactly. Oh. Name that country for 800. Alpacas are bred for wool there. Singani is a favorite drink. The National Museum of Arts is in La Paz. Player one. What is Bolivia? Definitely. Name that country 12. It's about the same size as Washington, D.C. It's a principality. It's next to Switzerland. Player three. What is Liechtenstein? Precisely. Huh. Pick again. I'll try St. Peter for 400. In Acts, Herod imprisons Peter but one of these beings appears and frees him. Player one. What is an angel? Yes. 
Bottoms up 1600. Miners first adapted this term for a hard place to mean as low as one can get. Player one. What is rock bottom? Precisely. Pick again. Bottoms up two. Answer? Oh. The daily double. Did you make your wager, please? Three thousand. Contradicting its foreboding name, this feature of Mammoth Cave is only 105 feet deep. Player one. What is sea bottom? Good answer, but no, sorry, that's wrong. Take a look. The Here's bottomless the right pits. Response. What foods these morsels be ate? In the South, hominy, when ground, is more popularly known as this. Player one. What are grits? Exactly. Foods 1,200. Hummus is made with chickpeas, which are also known as these beans. Player two. What are chechi beans? Yes. Hmm. Oh... St. Peter for 800. As Jesus predicted, Peter did this thrice before the cock crowed twice. Player one. What is denied he knew him? Oh, that's incorrect. What? Player two. What is deny he knew Jesus? Exactly. It still should have gave Saint it to Peter me. For 1,200. Peter was a fisherman on this sea when he was called from his nets by Jesus. Player one. What is the Sea of Galilee? Yes. St. Peter 1600. According to tradition and several paintings, Peter was crucified in this unusual manner. Player one. What is upside down? Exactly. St. Peter 2000. Like Prince Charles, Peter had a brother named this, also an apostle. Player one. What is Andrew? Definitely. Name that country, 1600. Sandals are popular there. Many of the people speak Dinka. The second largest city is Khartoum. Oh. What is Sudan? Yep, I hit the button too early again. Precisely. Pick again. Let's do Women in History for 1,200. She plotted against the French Revolution and gave military secrets to her brother Leopold II of Austria. Player one. Who is Marie Antoinette? Yes. Name that country 2000. Its official language is Malay. Bandar Seri Bhagawan is its capital. Its head of state is a sultan. Player three. What is Brunei? Br Brunei, yeah. Precisely. Pick again. Let's do piano keys for 1,600. Heard here, they're adjacent on the keyboard as well as in an abbreviation for a popular format of recorded music. Okay, here is the clue. Player two, what are C, D? Oh, of course. Definitely. Piano keys for 2,000. Heard here, it's the key the French call le do du milieu du piano. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. I think I'll try it this time. What is middle C? Exactly. Got it this time. Food 1600. Hop in for some deep fried lapin at restaurants in Paris and you'll learn it's this animal. Player one. What is a rabbit? That's the critter we're looking for. Food's 2000. Fry up some of these insects and you can enjoy the Colombian treat, Hormiga Culona. Player one. What are ants? Exactly. 
Women in History for 2000. Henry VIII's wives included Anne of Cleves and this Anne, who was beheaded in 1536. Player one. Who is Anne Boleyn? Definitely. And the last one is... Oh. Women in History 16. The Daily Double. Make your way to place. Thousand. This 19th century woman boasted, I never ran my train off the track, and I never lost a passenger. Player one. Who is Lizzie Borden? Good guess. No. But it's not what But I was wise. For. Here's what we were looking for. Harriet Tubman. Last one. A six string guitar has two strings tuned to this note, each corresponding to the piano key heard here. Okay, here is the clue. Player one. What C? Exactly. That's the third time that glitch has happened. I don't know what's going on. But the way I see it, I get a Get 1,200 of what I lost Player back. 22,400 for me, 9,900 for Player 2, 9,800 for Player 3. It's Final Jeopardy time. Once I give you the category, you'll have I don't really have a lot of leeway. I don't think I really played that great. But still, it's out of reach. Inaugural addresses. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. Nineteen thousand six hundred, nineteen thousand eight hundred. That's why I'm just doing sixteen hundred. Here's the final. To make Jeopardy sure answer. that I'm a winner. Good luck. Thank you. In his fourth inaugural address, he told us, "Today we work and fight for total victory in war." Who is Franklin Roosevelt? Let's see how everyone did. Player three. Woodrow Wilson. Your question. Oh, sorry, nope. that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? 9800 Your question. Harry S. Truman. Sorry, no. incorrect. How much did it cost you? Everything. Your I said Franklin D. Roosevelt. Right you are. Yes. What was your wager? 1600 only for $24,000. Not my worst score, but that's still a win. Congratulations to our winner. Player one. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon, won't you? Bye, Alex. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get a few details out of the way before we start our game. We got all kinds of fun. So it's 140 you. wins. There's my total. 6,872,000. So 24,000 today, definitely not one of my best games, but I did not feel really great about uh, the, the where the daily doubles were and really didn't really feel that confident about some of the categories, particularly the piano keys one. I kind of thought I knew them, but didn't really have, wasn't really in the cards, but that's fine. It's still a win. 24,000. I'll take it. Do I think I could have done better? Probably, but I got to take the good with the bad and uh, 
and the good is that my run is still continuing with uh, 20 with with 24,001 today and uh, getting closer to 6.9 million dollars so hopefully I'll be able to make it to 7 million in the next game but to be realistic I'll just be patient about it and again try to be less dependent on the cluster site but that doesn't mean I'm going to chuck it entirely it's my channel I can do what I want I don't care what others think so with that being said Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, subscribe. I'll see you all for game 141.